Yep. Or but Justine, Justine yeah. if it was a girl. Yeah, I'm walking did, did that not work out? Ah! <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we'll be looking at Justin Bieber's crush on Selena Gomez. Stay tuned till the end. Since he was 15, Justin Bieber has had a crush on Selena Gomez. During an interview with Los Angeles radio presenter DJ Ski in 2009, the baby hitmaker admitted to having a crush on the former Disney actress two years before they started dating. The two have known each other for quite a long time and have been good friends. Stories of them dating each other started first as rumors before they announced it officially that they were dating. Fans were overjoyed because the two looked like they were really meant for each other, and many hoped that they would last forever. According to TMZ.com, after confessing his celebrity crush, Justin, now 19, blushed and whispered, nobody heard that. He had his eye on the brunette beauty while she was still dating Nick Jonas, with whom she had been linked since 2008. But when Justin and Selena appeared together at the Vanity Fair Oscar party in February 2011, they confirmed media conjecture, parting ways. After a two-year relationship, the couple parted in November last year, but have been seeing each other casually for the past few months with Selena apparently telling friends that he's the one. She's really obstinate when it comes to Justin, a source previously stated. She believes he is the one for her and that they will be together forever. She isn't ready to give up and who knows, she might be right. They can't live with each other, they can't live without each other, friends have previously stated. In the entertainment industry, it appears like Justin Bieber's dead end love tale with Selena Gomez is reviving once more. Madison. Katy Perry and a number of other celebs want to see Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez's tempting intimacy. When they were between 18 and 19 years old, the two started dating. They were certainly eager to begin their journey as a dating pair, and they received a lot of attention from the audience. I have a thing for Selena Gomez, Justin admitted in an interview back in 2009. When Selena Gomez was asked the same question, she responded in a way that resembled Justin Bieber's. I love him, sure I do, I think he is cute," she said. That was the beginning of an unequaled tale. Despite the fact that they were the most visible characters in terms of relationships because they were too cute at first, the two had their fair share of relationship issues. In 2013, they reconciled after a breakup. The couple was claimed to have split up nine times, with some of their splits never being made public. Justin and Selena attempted to rekindle their romance for the last time in 2017, but it did not last long, and they both split up in 2018. After a breakup in 2018, Justin surprised fans and celebrities by putting a ring on Haley's finger, rekindling their friendship. In 2021, word of Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez rekindling their friendship is circulating again. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez have revived their romance with a kiss. The pair were seen and spotted, kissing during Justin Bieber's ice hockey game in Los Angeles on Wednesday, making it plain they're definitely back together. During a timeout, Gomez demonstrated to the crowd that her relationship with the weed is gone, and she's back on with Bieber, with images to prove it. Gomez arrived with her puppy, Charlie, and took a front row seat to witness Bieber's game, which was being watched by a chorus of Bielivers at the same time. Selena Gomez uploaded her final Instagram of Justin Bieber on March 1, 2018, making their rekindled relationship as Instagram official as it could get before it faded later that month. As winter gave way to spring, their hiatus became a breakup and Bieber began a whirlwind affair with Haley Baldwin in June. Naturally, those two are now married. According to Us Weekly, Gomez is also doing quite well. She's moved on from the on again, off again Justin Bieber drama that engulfed her late teens and early to mid-twenties. She's also relieved that she'll be able to close that chapter musically. After being observed riding bikes, visiting church, and going on walks together in recent weeks, speculation and rumors that the pair were back together arose. According to sources, Gomez and Bieber have been back together for two months, but have kept their romance a secret until now owing to the inevitable attention their relationship will inevitably receive. According to the Daily Mail, Bieber pursued Gomez while she was still with the Wheaton, taking her out for coffee and attempting to win her back, a tactic that clearly paid out. According to the Wheaton sources, he took a break from his relationship to concentrate on his profession. Naturally, the sinner has been photographed with Bella Hadid, his ex-girlfriend. Bieber and Gomez have been dating since 2010, when they met at a pancake house and went on their first date. 
they dated on and off for the following seven years, proving that true love never dies, especially when it comes to Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. Selena is tremendously glad that she was able to finally explain her side of the story and close the chapter of her life with Justin, a source pulled the site. She cherished the ability to express herself via her art and in her own unique way. To get her mental and emotional health back on track, she needed a lot of discipline, compliance, and strength. Selena Gomez moving on. Gomez isn't searching for a relationship right now, according to the insider, but she's open to the idea. She is concentrating on her music as well as her mental well-being. Right now, she isn't actively looking for a relationship or going out of her way to be in one. The insider said, she is still mending, but she has a better understanding of the type of man she wants to date and the attributes he must possess in order for her and her future partner to have a healthy, thriving, loving, and supporting relationship. During her January NPR interview, Gomez opened up the most about her relationship with Bieber. She acknowledged that her song Lose You to Love Me was about him, and she described him as emotionally abusive at times. Gomez began, I had something lovely, and I would never deny it wasn't that. It was a long and painful process, and I'm glad it's finished. And I thought this would be a fantastic way to say, you know it's done, and I accept and appreciate that, and now here I am, going into a whole new chapter. NPR's Lulu Garcia Navarro stated, I'm thinking you're talking about Justin Bieber, who I'm guessing you're talking about. I get that, Gomez admitted. You had to get the name in. Garcia Navarro inquired as to whether or not to let go of Bieber, and that relationship was one of the most difficult aspects of her life. No, Gomez responded, because I've discovered strength in it. Staying in a victim mindset is dangerous, and I'm not being rude. I do believe I've been the victim of some abuse. Do you mean you've been abused emotionally? Garcia Navarro was the one who posed the question. Yes, and I believe it's something that, as an adult, I had to figure out how to comprehend. And I needed to know what I was doing. As much as I don't want to spend the rest of my life talking about it, I'm incredibly proud of myself for being the strongest I've ever been and for finding a way to just walk through it with as much grace as possible. Justin Bieber liked a post on a fan page on social media that featured a number of throwback photos of the baby hit maker, including one of him and singer Selena Gomez. Justin and Selena were photographed cuddling while she sat on his lap in an old shot. According to Assessiobiz.com, the former Disney starlet placed her arm around his shoulders and their mouths were close to each other as if kissing. People mocked Bieber for liking the post, implying that he was still smitten with Gomez. It's time for tea, says the narrator. Because Selena was with him, one joked on Instagram in response to Bieber's actions. Others were outraged and told Gomez, who is 25 years old, to go away. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Remember to comment and share the video. Also leave your comments down below in the comment section. With that, I'll see you in the next video.